Last week we got a question on how can we use the high technic color sensor in the EV3 software. We found out that there is a block for this and today we are exploring how can we work with this block. First you have to download the high technic EV3 color sensor block. You can do this from the high technic side, go to downloads and from downloads you choose Mindstorms EV3 programming blocks and from there at the bottom you see the high technic EV3 color sensor block. Now you download this, it's a zip and you save it for example somewhere on your computer then you open the EV3 software and you go to tools block import wizard now I've already imported this block in my software but if this is your first time you click to browse you find the folder with the zip file you, where you extracted the zip file and in this folder you see a file called hdcolor ev3b from block you select it open import and on your side here at this step it will just import in my case because the block is already existing it says that it has to overwrite it I don't want to overwrite the block and then you restart the software after you restart the software you have one new block in your sensors section this is the high technic power block now the question that we received is how do you follow a line with this sensor as you can see this sensor has it can measure color it can measure an RGB value it can measure a passive or a row value and uh, one of the very 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 simple ways to follow a line is to follow a line by moving the motors depending on two states it's a simple program that goes like this in a loop we measure with a color sensor the color that the sensor detects if the color is black we move one of the motors for for unlimited amount of time for example motor D and if the sensor detects white another color if the sensor detects white we move another motor for example motor C this is of course if we have motor D and C as primary motors ok on and one more modification here every time we switch from black to white and from white to black we switch the motor so when we are over black we have motor D moving when we are over white we have motor C moving and we must also stop the opposite motor in the opposite case so here we stop motor C we turn off motor C and here we turn off motor D again this here is the color sensor it's not the height Technic color sensor is the standard EV3 color sensor and when it detects black we stop motor C and we start motor D when it detects white we stop motor D and we start motor C and you get this zigzag movement it's uh, it's very uh, most of the people working with uh, Mindstorms are very familiar because this is the simplest way to follow a line you have two states only two states and in these two states you switch between the states and you move from left to right from left to right and you actually follow the border between the the line and the field now the question is how do we do this with the high technic sensor unfortunately we don't have a high technic sensor currently so we cannot experiment with this uh, that's why we are only uh, guessing on how it should work and I welcome any comments on whether this program actually works when you download it to, to, to your software to your robots uh, we follow the same principle so it's uh, 
the color sensor again returns a color and it's a number so as you can see the high technic color sensor it can measure color and it returns a number and this number if i assume that for black we'll have let's say 10 or for white we'll have 20 or one or two and we'll have different numbers for the different colors i don't know what are the numbers for the different colors but i'm sure that for different colors we get different numbers which is basically the case here different colors black different color white now if we make this switch not dependent on the color sensor but on number we can just implement the wind following with the following with the high tech sensor as we take an input from the high technic color sensor and then if the high technic color sensor returns one let's say that this is black we again stop motor c start motor d if it returns white which is let's say six we stop motor d we start motor c and this is uh i assume again we don't have the sensor so that we can test it i welcome any comments if you can test it and say whether it works but this is a very very simple way to follow a line with the high technic color sensor in the ev3 software there are also other ways which we'll probably explore when we when we are able to have this sensor with us so that we can experiment this but we also have uh, we can measure an rgb we can measure passive and row which would probably give us more details on what exactly is the color underneath the the sensor and we'll probably have a smoother line following again you can find this program below in the materials